Okay. No sugar. Just, just lemon. I moved out. And I feel good about it. Hey, it's your girl Danella, and today I'm gonna be talking about book recommendations for you guys. And this is something that I get a lot. I know I sound like a regular ass influencer right now. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do my how I do my eyebrows. <laughs> well, I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of books I I have in my recommendation list for you guys. And the topic is a bit mm, broad. Okay, why? Actually, boils down to a very simple thing. It's not. I mean, it is. I mean, book recommendations. This part is the broad part, but when it comes to what kind of books you should be reading, um, it's a very simple thing to answer. I don't know why you guys think that whatever I recommend or whatever other people recommend to you should be read by you, like. No, it's a big ass no. One of the biggest reasons why you should not be reading everything other people read is because not everyone is the same. Just because my mom loves comedy movies doesn't mean I love them, okay? I mean, comedy movies are great, but I'm all into action, okay? Real badass action. And I can never enjoy comedy movies the way my mom enjoys them. So you can never enjoy reading books that I enjoy reading. Or I can never enjoy reading books that you enjoy reading. So it's just, it's all about your life and your preferences. If you're someone who's into, I don't know, science fiction, then read science fiction books. If you're someone who's into, I don't know, romance, then go read books about relationships and shit. I would personally never read something like that. Like, thank you. What else? So you have to meet yourself. You have to allow yourself to know yourself better. And if you still do not have your own um, favorite genre, then go do a little research. Read one book from each genre, okay? Go read one book from each genre and see what type you actually love the most. Why is it so important to read things that your heart would fall in love with? Because, look, I never studied math back in school because I didn't care about math. Fuck, that was too hot. Okay, shit. Sorry, let me get back to what I was saying. Go read one book from each genre and see which one suits you the best. See which one you're going to fall in love with and then start picking more books from that one. That's what I suggest you to do. Just because I love science fiction doesn't mean that you're gonna enjoy science fiction and you learn and learn new new learn words and uh, learn new words from it. You know, it makes no sense. Um, but there is one thing that I believe that we all should be doing, and that's self improvement. This house is haunted, and we all should be working on self our self improvement. Which is why I believe that self-improvement books are for everyone. It's not something that you get to choose to like. It's something that you, as a human, should like. Because we are all trying to become better and stronger version of ourselves. So self-improvement books are something that I highly, highly recommend you all to start reading. If you haven't started yet. I'm going to give you a few that I read or am reading or am about to read and I believe that these are extremely important. Number one, 5 a.m. club. Please, please read this one. Just, I don't know, just take it and just, just go start reading it, please. Okay. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Ooh. The Power of Now. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The Secret. And the magic of thinking big. Now I have a bunch of others, but just for the starters, just start. Yeah, just, yeah. And sorry, sorry, one more left. Jim Carrey, we all know who Jim Carrey is, that guy. I just, he's, he's, he got so spiritual. He got so woke that he's changing my life. And I, I love him. I love him. 
memoirs and misinformation is something that you definitely should read. There you go. I hope that you find this video useful and I hope that you get a bit more open-minded when it comes to learning. You guys, just because people are entitled to tell you what to do doesn't mean that it's the right thing for you to do. So if people are pushing certain books on you, like, oh, read this one, read that one, and you don't like that kind of a genre, then just don't do it. Do things that make you happy because when your brain falls in love with what you're doing, your brain starts learning 10 times faster. So make sure that you read shit that you love, okay? That's it for today. I'm so sorry I've been away for some time. I'm, as I said, I moved out. This is my new old place. Actually, I grew up in this house, but me, we moved out like six, seven years ago, and the house stayed empty. And now I'm back to it with Be Dawn, and we're we're having fun working. And our office is super close, like a, a five minute walk from here. Um, it's great. Life's great because we're making it great. We're working on it. We're trying to make it great. And when you do something about it, shit just gets better. That's it. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Hello. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find books that you enjoy reading. And yo, if you already have them, can you please do me a favor and put them down in the comment section? Give me, I don't know, three to five awesomest books that you've ever read okay so we can share your tips and advice with other people when it comes to this okay so go put them down in the comment section and i'm gonna tell you if i read them too or not um hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching like share subscribe if you love the video and see you in the next one bye I got that good chip.